Hello, this is Greg Hanna from Gospel Music University. And today we're going to finish up part three, examining chord progressions used in uh, popular gospel songs and many chord progressions that are just recycled throughout the gospel language that we absolutely, absolutely need to know. And today we're going to look at a signature progression, uh, examining some of the chord changes in the James Fortune song, I Trust You, in this part three tutorial. And there's one classic walk-up called a 2-5 walk-up. And if you don't understand what I mean by walk-ups, I have a course called The Elements of Gospel, which is a five audio CD course in a 40-page book with 40 short lessons that teach you a lot of the fancy bells and whistles and tricks that we use in contemporary music, particularly in church music, such as preacher chords, blues scales, improvisations, 2-5-1 chords, of course, the walk-up worship chords and signature progressions, runs and fills, and those kind of things. Absolutely all the fancy bells and whistles that you need to know in order to enhance your plan. And and some really short, simple lessons are great book, great detail diagrams, and great audio tracks that actually hear me teach the lesson. But uh, there is one progression that I'm using from my Elements of Gospel course called the 2-5 walk-up, which is one of these every absolutely every gospel musician absolutely need to know. And we're going to look at this particular sound, and we're going to look at some of the uh, the options for using this progression and how it's used even in this James Fortune sound. Because a lot of times when we're trying to transcribe something by ear, uh, if we hear a series of chords uh, that we know of course, and that we've memorized and learned, we'll instantly go back and play them. But we hear some chord changes that are similar to something we know, but there are some alterations. Then we got to dig a little deeper in our ear. But we always have something to start from because you may hear this two file walk up and uh, played uh, a lot of different ways, but the bass harmony is still there. But they may switch it out. But two five walk up is only meaning that we're starting the two in the bass, and the song is in D, and the third of D is E. And we're walking up to a five, okay? So that's a two-five walk-up. So the progression is, is walking up from a two to a five. So let's look at the harmonies and the chords that we're using. Okay, in this case, the two chord is a minus seven flat five. In this case, I play an E in the root, so it's an E minus seven flat five chord, okay? And uh, and it's just two chords that's in this progression. We just got different uh, inversions and different voices in this chord. So this chord right here is a D chord, okay, with the F sharp in the root. I'm just playing the third of D in the root, and then we're back to the E minus seven flat five. But this time we got a G in the root, which is the third of that E minus seven flat. Five. The other name for this chord is uh, uh, E half diminished. So you'll hear it minus 7 flat 5, and if you hear the term half diminished, it absolutely needs, means the same thing. Here again, if you don't understand all these terms, you definitely want to look at the element of gospel of our course. But here we go. Minus 7 flat 5. That's the D major chord with the F sharp and the root. The E minus 7 flat 5. And that uh, the D chord with the A in the root. You know, this time we're just playing the third of D in the root. So it's only two chords. Um, uh, e minus 7 plus 5, okay. Then we got that D chord, okay. And then we got another E minus 7 plus 5. We're just changing the root with one of the other chord tones. And then we're back here. So when I begin to listen to this, uh, this example, when uh, this particular song is using this idea, let me show you uh, the concept about learning that and transcribing it by ear. Let's have a listen. Listen, somebody's going through something right now and the devil's trying to convince you that there's no way you can make it out and he says you're not going to be able to get out of this situation but I wish somebody would make the devil out of a lie right now and lift your hands and say, God, I will. So I bet you're saying, well, Greg, how do you how do you hear that 2-5 walk up and all of that? Okay, and let's talk about that because when you hear this progression, uh... hear that a lot of times in gospel but the way he's using it here we're using the same two chords the d chord and the e minus seven plus five but you know if i didn't know this walk up first of all that's why a lot of times i get all these emails greg can you show me these really really deep intricate 
fat chords uh, so I can learn some new changes. But if you can't hear a chord in this infantile stage in this basic arrangement, then if I show you or teach you some of the advanced harmonies, you only know how to apply it in that one area. You got to be able to hear the harmony uh, in this basic in this basic root format. And then once we begin to alter that, then it'll make a lot more sense to the ear. So the ear has to be able to hear it in a regular state. So if I didn't, if I had never learned this, when I got to this particular song, it would have been foreign. But I can hear elements of the 2-5 walk up in this chord. I hear that half diminished. I hear, uh, I hear the D chord, but I hear some subtle changes to that. But because I have the 2-5 walk up in my vocabulary, then it won't take me but a few seconds to actually figure out what the alterations are. So let's look at what he's doing. Okay. He starts off, of course, with that D chord with the A and the bass. So, okay. And this is going to the to the, uh, to the the vamp on this particular song. So it's, uh, again... Now the next chord is, and let me let me let me cue the track up again just to make sure we're in the same place, so we can kind of get another quick listen. Here we go. Here we go. That's a D chord. Something right now. Then the E has to finish with the G root. The D chord. You said you're not going to be able to get out of this situation, but I wish somebody would make the devil out of a lie right now. So basically. Ah, uh, okay. So it's kind of like we're taking that walk up backwards by going down. So it's an alteration of that, but, but because I can hear that in the two five walk up that's so common in gospel, uh, you're gonna find musicians will add a spin on a lot of different things. So here we go. Let me give the chorus to you. Okay, and. The first one is a D chord with A in the bass. You can just read it off the screen. Then here we have that minus seven flat five. Okay, but now there's a subtle difference that I'm hearing on the, on the CD because this is my typical minus seven flat five. But he's actually playing an A. He's added an A to that chord, which makes that uh, a minus seven flat five with a sharp nine. The A is a sharp nine uh, in this E minor chord. So it's almost like I could I know if I can hear the minus seven flat five and then I say, okay, I hear one other chord tone in there and I need to add that to the sound. I hear I definitely hear the minus seven flat five, but I hear something different. So this is the actual the other chord that he's using in uh B flat, D, E, and A. Then back to that D chord over the E, then the same minus seven flat five with the sharp nine. But we play the E in the root. Okay. I will I will trust you So you can so that's an alternate between alternating between that sharp nine or maybe using it you got choices this time I'm not going to use it so that's basically what's going on in the vampire let me play it along with the track so we can get a quick idea now and lift your hands and say God I will trust you I don't know how you're going to do it I don't know when you're going to show up but God I know you're going to do it God I know you're going to bring me out oh, if that's you come on lift your voice and say I will oh that's right trust you. Hallelujah. Oh God, I don't know when the pain's going to end, but I know God, you wouldn't put more on me than I can bear. So I trust you. Same progression over and over. In spite of what I'm going through, I trust you. This time you're going to modulate. I know you love me. So I trust you. Once we get there, we're doing the same thing, but the modulation chords, we're going to start on, uh, here again, we're in the key of E flat, and then we got another, uh, uh, this time we're using an F minor 7 flat 5, okay? But the way we go into the, uh, to the uh, new key, uh, F minor 7 flat 5, 
F minus seven plus five with the B in the bass, and all of this this is in the chord tone. The F is in this chord tone, and the B is here. So we just added, we playing the same chord tone. B flat, I will. Then we go to the, okay, B uh, minus seven flat five with the A flat in the root. Okay, then we go to the next key. So now we got an E flat chord with uh, the G in the bass. Then we got the F minus seven flat five just with the F in the bass. So, so uh, going back to the key. to the key of E this time, okay? So we, here, here this time, we got another minor seven flat five, okay? Okay. And this is just how you get to the key. Then we got an E chord with a B in the bass, okay? And this one time, it's an F sharp minor seven flat five, okay? E chord with the B in the bass. Okay, L sharp minus half flat five with the A in the bass. Then we got E in the bass with the G sharp in the root. A flat is in the harmonic spelling. Okay. Okay. Next chord changes. And you can do that sharp nine if you want to. So basically, we're doing the same thing in three keys. So basically, you hear again that two five walk up really simple. Learn it in every key. Learn it like that, cause when you begin to apply it to other songs, you're gonna have to be able to break it apart. And then uh, the next key, an E flat. Okay, very popular signature progression. So we need to make sure. So we got to make sure that we learn them in all the keys. So when we get ready to approach a song like this and many many others in contemporary gospel music that use this progression will know what to do very simple okay and a very beautiful song we'll definitely go back and review the other tutorials so again uh beautiful progression so just learn those and all see that two five walk up is very critical order the elements of gospel learning system uh, and really understand all the uses of the two five application particularly in traditional gospel and upbeat soulful gospel that's just a sound that we absolutely absolutely must need uh, right now this week the uh, contemporary core finding learning system is on sale at the lowest price ever for sixty seven dollars for that phenomenal course so you hear me talk about the core finder all the cores that we use are used in that system so definitely look at that uh, go to gospel music university look at the stores take advantage of some of those great deals and specials so until next time if they said you had to be gifted to play gospel music evidently they don't know my secret this is Greg Hanna with more keyboards tips tricks and more from gospelmusicuniversity.com